Let's classify the types of coronary artery disease. Silent angina. It's very rare but can happen. Patient will be asymptomatic. They won't report the typical signs and symptoms such as crushing chest pain or chest pressure that feels like an elephant sitting on my chest. But if you randomly take an EKG on them, it will show some ST elevation. Prince metal or variant angina. It's a less common type as well. It's caused by coronary artery vasospasms. It's very unpredictable when it's gonna happen. The pain will respond to calcium channel blockers, which stop the vasospasms, and nitroglycerin, which vasodilates the artery and allows perfusion. Stable angina. The patient will present with crushing chest pain or discomfort that is predictable, typically occurs with physical exertion or stress, and is relieved by rest and or sublingual nitroglycerin. Unstable angina. This type comes with crushing chest pain that is unpredictable, occurs at lower levels of activity, or even at rest. Unstable angina will not be relieved by rest or nitroglycerin. This is a medical emergency and considered part of the acute coronary syndrome, a potential precursor to a heart attack. At this point, we are very sure that this patient's cardiac cells are in the verge of dying, and we need to act fast. Heart is muscle, save the muscle.